Extreme Warfare Revenge. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what this game is, it is a uh, simulation game um, of wrestling. Now, that probably sounds maybe quite complicated, but um, let me just try and explain it as best I can. Uh, well, I've been a fan of wrestling all my life. Uh, going back to when I was like probably five years old, I, I was watching like WWF back then. Um, in the days of like Lex Luger, Bret Hart, Adam Baum. Um, yeah, I, I could go on. And on and off, all the way through my life, I have watched wrestling. I've always been a big fan of it. Um, at some points in my life, I've seen more of it than other times. And yeah, I, I've watched everything from WWF. WCW, ECW, TNA, uh, WWE as it's now known, obviously. Um, yeah, so many other companies too. And yeah, I love wrestling. I love pro wrestling. It's a, it's one of my main passions in life. Um, and this game basically puts you in the position of the the booker um, who books the shows and basically runs the whole thing. And yes, what I'll be doing is just playing through this um, for quite a long time and just playing it for laughs, really. I just want to say that now, like, I'm not going to keep saying it all the way through. Said it. I mean, it's obvious, I'm, I'm playing this for laughs. Um, I'm not going to take it seriously. I just want to play a game um start my let's plays off because that is one of the main reasons I have done that well started up this channel to do let's plays and um, I think this is a good start uh, a good starting game to do it on and I am a big fan of this game I've played it a lot in the past um, and yeah it'll be uh, even more fun to do it on on camera so yeah I'm gonna go into my uh, game now and I haven't really done anything on it at all because I want to, well, I want to put the important parts on camera, but obviously um, I'm not going to do really, really long episodes of this. I'm just going to keep them to my normal length. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll figure that out as I go along. So the company I have chosen to take on is WWE, and I've taken them on at the uh, beginning of March 2015. So this is basically leading up to WrestleMania, um, which I think is at the end of March, but uh, on this game I might have to make it the beginning of April. It's, I'll get into that later. <laughs> that is like, yeah, I'll not go into that now. Now, this is the main like hub, I guess, or just the main screen that you'll like probably see a few times um, where everything is pretty much. And it shows you where you can go into like your current roster, your champions, your, your feuds, uh, stables, tag teams, everything like that. Uh, you, you may notice like the first thing I've changed the name of the company. Um, well, it's probably, <laughs> I say it like it's obvious, but basically this bit I'm hovering over now um, says the name of the company. I've changed it from the WWE to the CWF. Now this is the only change I've made so far and um, this is uh, <laughs> this is for a random reason. Um, when I was a kid I used to wrestle with like my cuddly toys. Um, I used to like wrestle them against each other and stuff and like have storylines and just do it like the real shows and stuff and uh, I called it CWC which was Cuddly Wrestling Championships. Now, I didn't want to call it that, but I want to call it um, CWF, so Cuddly Wrestling Federation, which is... Because um, I want to bring back the Federation thing, because uh, anyone who knows about wrestling will know that WWF had to change their name to WWE because of the other WWF, the, like, the World Wildlife um, Fund. And I don't know... I can see in ways why they had to do it, because it was awkward them having the same initials, but... It was never really a problem, I don't think, before that. So it was kind of strange that they had to change the name to WWE. But I guess everyone's pretty much used to it now. Even though sometimes I hear people who don't really know about wrestling mention it in passing and say WWF. And it's, it's strange because it's like... It, it's been 13 years now since it's changed, so... 
But yeah, um, so I've changed to CWF for that very random reason. And what I'm going to do today is, um, I think I'm just going to start off with something random. I want to start off by looking at my roster and yeah, I have basically taken some people from my roster and um, I'm going to give them really random gimmicks. Now, um, yeah, gimmicks is, if you don't know, um, like the character of the wrestler and, um, yeah, their character, well, <laughs> there's no other way of putting it, their, their character and their personality, and, and there's really specific ones and really funny ones as well, and basically what I'm going to do today is, I didn't want to just make every decision on my own, I wanted to leave some of it to chance and to just pure randomness because I want this to be random. So I am going to randomly generate some gimmicks today for a selection of wrestlers I've picked out and I'm hoping it's going to be really entertaining to see who got who gets which gimmick. So I'm going to basically go onto a website now and uh, there's like a little a wheel of fortune and it's going to spin round and we're going to see who lands each gimmick. So yeah, uh, without further ado, we will go to that now. Okay, welcome back everyone. Um, yeah, th this is the wheel I mentioned before. Now, to anyone who's a wrestling fan, you may be seeing some names here that uh, might be familiar to you, um, depending on how much of a uh, if you're a casual wrestling fan or a hardcore wrestling fan, I mean, some may stick out to you more than others. Um, I mean, names like Triple H will probably be more known to a wider range of people, and, and Kane, um, maybe Brock Lesnar, obviously, because he was uh, in the UFC as well. But basically, I picked out 16 names here of wrestlers who I want to have a really random and ridiculous gimmick um, but I didn't want to just pick them myself, because I've played it before and I've done that. I've picked out everything myself, like gimmicks and characters, and I just want this one to be more random, and I want to work with what I'm given, and, and I will have them keep these gimmicks as well um, for a, quite a while. And yeah, I, I'm just really looking forward to seeing who gets what, because this could be <laughs> really funny. So, okay, um... Right, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna actually cut off again a second because I've just remembered I need to bring up something while I do this. So I'll just be a moment. Okay, so I've now got up the list of gimmicks, um, which are gonna match to the uh, various um, wrestlers here. So I'm gonna basically start off with. I'm gonna do in alphabetical order the gimmicks. Um, and the first gimmick I've got is adult film star. So I'm going to spin this wheel and whoever it lands on will be the, will have the adult film star gimmick, which if you're familiar with uh, wrestling in, well, quite a while ago, there was a character called Val Venus who had this gimmick. Um, and yeah, let's see who gets it in my modern day CWF. Okay, let's just spin this now. Hmm. Yeah, if it works, this is... Oh, wait. Okay, it's going. It's going. Who is... Who is going to get the adult film star gimmick? This could... I'm trying to look if there's anyone who would actually suit this gimmick. Um, so, that has gone to... Um, oh, okay. Rosa Mendes. Um, right. Well, actually, looking at the list... That, she probably <laughs> makes sense in ways out of all of them. Um, so yeah, maybe this, this character actually fits quite well in ways. Um, I can work with that. So yeah, we'll remove her from the wheel now. Okay, so she's been removed. And now we go to the next gimmick, which is Angry Young Man. I don't really know anyone who's had this gimmick before, but let's... Uh, see who's had this. I'm sure people have had like an angry young man gimmick, but none are sticking out to me. And that is going to Luke Harper. 
Um, I'm not sure how young Luke is. I know he's pretty new to, um, well, he's obviously new to WWE. I'm not sure how, I, I think he's fairly new to wrestling, um, but I don't know his actual age. I think that he's probably younger than quite a few of the others on the list, so probably makes more sense than it could have done. Um, the next gimmick on the list I've got is Bitch. So this is, a lot of uh, characters have had this, um, a lot of wrestlers have had this. Like the the bitch role, um, like fem it's like you know a female heel gimmick, um, yeah. So let's see who gets this. This this is gonna be awkward because there's only three, there's only three females left on this wheel. So yeah, I could have a really bitchy guy on my roster, um, and oh okay, so Cesaro is gonna be the uh, the bitch of the company, um. And Cesaro is currently in a tag team with um, Tyson Kidd, who is also on this wheel. Um, and I was thinking of keeping them as a team, but with their respective gimmicks. So I wonder what Tyson Kidd will be if Cesaro is a bitch. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see what's next. Next, the gimmick is Braveheart. So a Scottish, like, warrior. Um, let's see who gets this. There is no one Scottish on this list, so let's see who this goes to. Oh, this is so awkward. Seamus. So, Seamus, who is obviously Irish, the Celtic warrior, as he's called, will be playing a Scottish warrior, Braveheart. I don't know if that makes... I don't know if that makes more sense than if it would have been someone else playing it or less. It's weird. It... it... Yeah, that'll be interesting again. Um, I'm liking who these selections are going to. Uh, the next gimmick is Bum. So this is going to be a character that is homeless. Um, I don't think there's ever been this done in, like, not mainstream wrestling anyway. Maybe in smaller companies, but I can't remember a homeless character in a in a big, um, big company. So who is going to get this? And I could... Oh, okay. So it goes to one of my divas again, Cameron. Um, so I've got the adult film star who was Rosa Mendez, and now Cameron is homeless. So that's very interesting. Um, great. <laughs> now the next role is actually going to be a bit more like a bit more higher ranked in the company because they're going to be commissioner. So I'm going to involve them in like authority angles and have them making decisions, so this is actually quite a good one to get. And I get the feeling, looking at this wheel, it's going to go to Triple H. Actually, no, it's... Okay, Brock Lesnar. Um, the current... Well, the current on this game, anyway, at this point in the... in WWE, was the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, so... he's now going to be the Commissioner as well. Okay, that's quite interesting. Um, next up, we've got... <laughs> Daddy's girl. So this gimmick, I mean, that says it all. I don't need to explain what that gimmick means. Daddy's girl, just like, uh, yeah, like basically what Stephanie McMahon was when she came into the company, like a daddy's girl gimmick. And um, that's gone to Tyson Kidd. Okay. Um. So Cesaro, who is his tag team partner, and I think I'm going to keep it that way, is a bitch. And Tyson Kidd is uh, daddy's girl. <laughs> oh... Well, I don't think it's worked out too well for those two, but I think that could work as a good team still. Uh, we've got quite a few big hitters left here. Um, the next gimmick is Fiery Italian. So there's been a few of these in wrestling, like the Full-Blooded Italians and um, the Mamelukes are in WCW. Um, so who's going to have to... Oh, okay, <laughs> Triple H. <laughs> A fiery Italian, nice. Um, yeah, I'm sure he could pull it off. Um, yeah, I I like that. I'm glad he's got that, to be honest. <laughs> um, okay, so there's not many gimmicks left now. Uh, the next one is fun drunk. Who doesn't love a fun drunk? So th there's another one on the the game called violent drunk, but I've gone with fun drunk, and um, it goes to Kevin Steen. Okay, and he's uh well. Still Kevin Steen on the uh, on the game, but obviously now he's changed to uh, changed his name to Kevin Owens. But yeah, he's going to be a fun drunk. So yeah, nice. 
Um, so we have some, yeah, some big hitters left here. Um, okay, the next one. The next gimmick is simply gay. Now, this will be like a really stereotypical representation of being gay. <laughs> okay, and it goes to Tamina Snooker. Um, yeah, th this gimmick will be, it's been done in wrestling before and it's, it's not been the most tasteful gimmick, like, it's been really stereotypical when they've portrayed a gay character, and, yeah, but it, it's, it's not meant to offend in, in any way, um, none of these gimmicks are, I know that they seem really out there, but I'm not taking this seriously, and, yeah, um, so that, that's interesting that's gone to Tamina. Um, next I've got, yeah, I've got six gimmicks left, six wrestlers, and the next one is another nationality, it's harsh German. So who's going to be like a harsh German, a, like a Nazi, um, gimmick? <laughs> and it goes to Dolph Ziggler, well, this is probably better than what WWE has lined up for him any time soon, so Dolph Ziggler is going to play a harsh German. Ironically, when Dolph Ziggler started off, well, when I heard his name, when I'd not been watching WWE for a while, I thought Dolph Ziggler was like, a, it sounded Russian to me. Because <laughs> um, it reminded me of Dolph, Lung, Dolph Lundgren from the Rocky movie. Um, yeah, the Russian boxer. So, anyway, the next gimmick is quite a positive one. It's Inspirational Leader. So, who's going to be an inspirational leader to the... Uh, Locker room. Oh, okay. And I was actually thinking when that came up of Damien Sandow's name. I don't, I was thinking obviously of the intellectual savior of the masses gimmick. But that that's that is um really you know it could be similar inspirational leader. And I think Sandow. Yeah, I'm sure he could be great on promos as an inspirational leader. Now the next one is a junkie. So just someone who is uh, hooked on drugs and. Wants to get a fix whenever they can. And it's Paige. And I feel... I can't remember exactly all of the... I'm trying to think of all the female gimmicks we've had. I don't think they've... Um, well, I know, Paige is now a junkie. Tamina is gay. Um, Rosa Mendes was the adult film star. And I forget what Cameron was. Um, yeah. But anyway, that's a very interesting gimmick there. We've got three big names left here. Um, and we've got three gimmicks left. Manic Depressive, Racist, and Stoner. So this is to determine the Manic Depressive. And it goes to Kane. And based on the booking of Kane, um, sometimes in his career, I can probably see why he's turned into a Manic Depressive. I, yeah, um... His career's seen better days. Uh, he's, you know, he he was a monster, but um, yeah, his his gimmicks changed a lot over the years. But um, yeah, mighty depressive. Anyway, so the next gimmick is this one's kind of awkward. Um, has, is a racist gimmick. Now again, like this this isn't meant to offend anyone. It's only um, tongue in cheek. Um, but th this character will be someone who is who is racist in the storylines, and it's Mark Henry. <laughs> uh, okay then, so Mark Henry is going to be portraying a racist character, um, and that leaves Roman Reigns, who is supposed to be facing Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but I don't think I'm going to let that happen. Um, he's going to be a stoner, so yeah. He likes to have drugs a lot, and uh, he's happy with it. And why is that spinning again? I think we all know that Roman Reigns is the, has got the stoner gimmick, so yeah. Okay then, so that's all the uh, gimmicks um, that I had in mind. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of mind-blown by some of those. I've not really made a note of them as I've gone along. Um, I've just basically gone through them, so I'm going to now assign those gimmicks to the wrestlers on the game um so yeah you probably can't see that fully at the moment but yeah i'm going to assign those gimmicks now and um 
I'm going to cut this one short for now because I just want to do an introduction to this game and I'll do some more introductions to it probably before I start getting into it properly and booking shows and showing you how it all works. But yeah, for now, um, those are the gimmicks that have been assigned and um, yeah, it should be a very entertaining playthrough, I hope. I hope you enjoy it. I know that this is um, anyone who's got through this far, much of the video... Um, Thank you so much for watching, and I know this isn't for everyone, but uh, anyone who's into wrestling, or games, or hopefully both, um, hopefully you enjoy this series. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this one short for now, and uh, I hope to see you again in the uh, next playthrough of this. Okay, goodbye everyone.